Hi everyone, Sylvia here. In this video, we're gonna scan an entire apartment using the new lighter auto scan. We're gonna sit together in this apartment, which has a bit, let's say some kind of irregular form. So we can check how to do it. We start a new project. We add the floor and we start inserting the first room. I will start the auto scan. Here we go. And we can start with point here. It takes some seconds. So point camera at top edge of the wall. Here we go. And there we go. We can go up and move around. Don't move too quickly because the app needs the time to scan the edges, the windows, the doors. These windows are probably not going to be scanned because are on the slope ceiling, but we did a uh, specific video to show you guys the uh, workaround. Here we go. Little note, it's always better to close the door, right? So that the scan is not scanning in the other room already. Okay, let me check. It looks fine. Everything is green. We can close the uh, scanning for this room. Confirm scan. This is a living room. Now we will go ahead. Let me open the door and I will scan the uh, hallway. So scan another room. Maybe I will move here. Hi, Rudy. We'll go up. Okay, so here we have this room. I try to move a bit like this so that the door will be scanned. Here we have a yet another opening. Let me move in this narrow entrance or hallway. Here we have the bathroom. Okay. The entrance here. Perfect. Now we have the door that goes in our bedroom. Let me see. Okay. If it has been scanned, let me check. Okay. The room looks nice. Then we can stop the scanning process. And okay. We can confirm if you see like a little orange line like that is just because it was scanning the door in the other room, but it's fine. We can confirm the scan and select the uh, hallway. Okay. Great. Now let's scan another room. I will open the door and go inside the bedroom. We go up and down. Here we go. Once you see the white lines, the room is being scanned properly. Also here we have a bit of sloped ceiling, but in this case, the window will be scanned because it's straight. It's not on sloped ceiling itself. So we go ahead. Now we see that the room is complete in our 2D view. We can also check the 3D view if we want. Then we tap on the red dot processing. Perfect. Confirm the scan. This is a bedroom. And now we want to go ahead. Let me change. Hi, Brody. <laughs> Let's scan the teeny tiny bathroom that we have here. So. So we select scan another room, we point here and we go up, okay, then we continue on this side. This is really small, but we are manage it. We can take a picture also with the white dot, so it will be attached to our room. Maybe if you want to attach more picture to the same room, just move a bit so that they're not all together in the same spot. Here we have the bathtub. So we give the app the time to scan it. We have this corner here. We go up. Now I can close the door one second. So, okay, now I have it. I can check. Okay, everything looks nice. If we have only a teeny tiny part of the wall that it's orange, but the room looks okay, we can try to confirm it. If you feel unsure, 
you can redo it but here it's just this teeny tiny part here in the corner but it's okay it's just because the ceiling is going down in my case so we can confirm the scan if the room is green it's fine then we can confirm it and this is the uh, bathroom okay now we can go ahead and scan the last room i guess And I can start the scanning. Let's go here in this corner. Okay. The same as for the uh, bedroom. The uh, window should be scanned. Maybe I will move farther away. Here we have our sink. Okay. Let me go a bit back. Here we go. Now we have the window. So it's there let me close this door so it's easier to scan because it's white and we don't have the other room as we said okay the corner there then we have here we also have a teeny tiny pantry starting from here let me go like this if the door is being scanned okay Perfect, we can check the 2D view. Okay, we have everything, we can confirm. Ah, okay. Maybe we do discard and rescan because as you can see now, all the walls are orange. So, if all the walls are orange, it means that the room will not appear in your project. So you have the risk that this room is gone. So we do discard and rescan. We can start from, let's start from another corner. So let's scan it from here. Okay. Like this. Then I just go straight ahead and go to my entrance door. Here we go. So we start with the easiest part of this kitchen. We go ahead. We have the table. Don't be afraid if you see that something is not being scanned right away. Move a bit and check if it's being scanned, moving the angle of your tablet, of your phone. Okay, let me do like this. Okay, now I have the window because I couldn't see it already before. So let's see. The sink looks... Okay, looks nice. Now I see also the white lines. And let me check what's missing this part of the room. Okay, nice, nice, great. Now the 2D view looks green. Let's check. Always make sure that this room appears. Now confirm the scan. And this is our kitchen. If we want, we can also scan this little pantry. We can try, we do scan another room. I will try to do it without turning the light on. This is as high as I am. This is the tiniest room of this apartment. Okay, we have the little door. I'm checking, let's see what's coming out. <laughs> okay, 3D, 2D, yes, it looks like we have it. Let's try, I come out. Confirm the scan. This is a... Uh, we can also do other and call it pantry afterward. Okay, now you can see on my tablet that we did the entire apartment. We tap on done. And here we go. We have it. So always make sure if you can to close the door, to move inside the room and then start the scanning process so that the rooms are not overlapping and if you do everything as I did in this video you will be able to scan also apartments that are double as big as this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions feel free to contact us at support at magicplan.app and I'll see you in our next video.